What's up, y'all? Deron the Chef here, and you already know. I'm really, really too nice. Nobody's ever going to see me, and a lot of these boys on IG is really, really my son. Today, we about to make some fire. I'm about to make some salmon, salmon, whatever you want to say. I know y'all be correct me when I say salmon, so I'm, I'm going to start saying salmon from now on. I'm about to make some crab stuff, salmon. So fire. Like, I had jumped out my seafood bag, now I'm about to get back in my seafood bag, and it's going to be bad for y'all for real. Stop playing with me. And you already know what I'm going to say. If you do not got no bed watching this video, exit out, spin the block, come back when you got a bed. This is my bed right now. I got a little Gatorade right here. It ain't really not too heavy. But I'm telling you, you got to have a bed when you watch my videos. I'm the Bevologist. The Bevologist merch is going to drop soon. Y'all be looking out for that. Thank you to anybody who bought my cookbook. Ain't Like anything I dropped. And if you went and you bought that, I appreciate you 100%. Because without y'all, it's no me. So I appreciate y'all. I told y'all 2022, we going crazy. So I'm going to try to like do reels the same way I do my reels. Just keep it like the same way. And probably like two times out the week, I just want to come on here on YouTube and just give y'all a full recipe with everything. You know, everything in the description, what you're going to need, the measurements and everything like that. Just so it won't just be me just putting the recipe up and then me dropping the cookbook. Like I, I want to give y'all the full content. I don't want to shy y'all away from nothing. So you already know, like, let's get right into it. You could be the best cook. You could edit the video the best way. You could do things that other people can't do. But if somebody putting in more work than you, they're going to surpass you. I'm telling you, hard work is going to be talent every single time. So make sure you're putting in hard work. Like, I don't consider myself to be the top chef, nor do I want to be the top chef. Like, I just want to cook on here and get people easy recipes to do. That's why I don't really jump in the bag to where it's like I'm doing stuff that's hard for people. I want you guys to be in the crib. You see my video? All right, I got wings. I got, I got that seasoning. Let me go in there and just get crazy. That's like that's what I'm here for. So I just want to thank y'all again. Before I get into the video, I don't want to talk too much. Let's get right into it. So first, you want to get eight ounces of cream cheese into a stainless steel bowl, whatever kind of bowl you use. But you got to make sure it's softened so everything will come together perfectly, right? Now what you want to do is you want to get some steamed spinach. I steamed my spinach off of camera. The only thing I did was just put it in the pot, let it steam up, drained it out. Now I'm going to add it in here, right? This was two cups. I don't know why spinach be shriveling up like that, but it's super, super crazy. Now I'm going to take this little spatula thing and just stir it up. I don't know why I use a spoon. I was trying to be fancy on camera, but as you can see, it was not working out as well as I wanted it to. But you already know I'm too nice, so we're going to get it together anyway. So you want to fold that in. And you see when it's softened, how it just comes together perfectly. Now right here, you got to spin a big bag. Get you some lump crab or some super crab. This one is fire right here. So I'm going to open it up. Now I'm going to add about half the can. That's going to get the job done, right? So once you add your half a can of crab meat, and I'm not going to lie, like, this was type fire. And I used to hate cream cheese, but when you add everything to come together with the cream cheese, it's super, super fire. So now you want to take that little spatula thing. I mean, if you want to use a spoon, go ahead and use a spoon because I should use a spoon at this point, too, because it was just getting on my nerve. So just make sure everything is well combined. That's all you got to do. Make sure everything is well combined, and we're going to get right. I'm really, really too nice, and I appreciate you for watching. Just watch the magic. I know you're probably wondering where the seasoning at is right here. Come on, you already know I'm really, really too nice. Imagine me not seasoning the food. I'm going to hit it with two tablespoons of garlic and onion powder. Then I'm going to go in with one teaspoon of white pepper. If you can't find white pepper, it's okay if you use black pepper. That's it. Like, white pepper is not nothing really special. You can use black. Then I'm going to finish it off with two tablespoons of obey. Right? Now, get that spatula thing. Everything is just add, stir, add, stir, add, stir. It's really not too hard. And when I say that this was fire, oh my God. God, it was fire. So, boom, we're going to add everything in there because that's like the last thing you got to do, right? So, now, boom, now we're going to add the cheese. I added some mozzarella cheese and I added some Parmesan cheese. You want to fold that in. Mm, mm, mm. The aroma that it was just giving off was like, dang, I'm really, really too nice. Now, you want to make a slit in the salmon and make sure you get out all of the bones. You do not want to choke yourself. Hit it with some grapeseed oil. You grapeseed oil, you got that high smoke point. So, it's going to be good once you sear it down and get that color on there. See it's both sides. If you want the skin off, take the skin off. I'm not going to eat the skin anyway, but I'm just doing everything as one. So, right? Now we're going to hit it with the same seasoning, some Obey. And this is kind of hard, too, because I use garlic powder a lot. So garlic powder and onion powder tends to, like, cake up on the salmon, right? So what I did was I hit it with some Obey, right? Rubbed everything in there. That's what that grapeseed oil was there for, too, to make sure it's easy to rub. Then I hit it with the onion powder. Then I came in with the garlic powder, but it was a little bit hard because that garlic powder is going to cake up really, really bad. So the only thing I do when I have garlic powder, I'm just going to put it on the salmon and then all of that oil you want the bottom, I'm just going to layer it down and just like press it down so everything stays together. You got to make sure your food is seasoned. Like if you eat 
unseasoned fool, then we can't be friends and I don't trust you. So see, I'm just patting it down a little bit. I'm turning it over, just making sure everything is well incorporated because you do not want no bland salmon. Salmon that's bland does not taste good at all, right? Now we're going to take that filling and we're going to stuff the salmon. Boom. Now we got the good part, y'all. Right here is going to be perfect. So I'm just taking it out, scooping it out, and you want to put it in there and make sure it's going to stick inside, right? So usually what it's going to do is probably going to run out a little bit because the cheese is going to melt and it's probably going to ooze out a little bit, but that's fine. That's perfect. Just make sure you get it in there. You stuff in that slit really, really good. All right. Now, boom, get you a cast iron pan or a skillet. You want to get that grapeseed oil to the highest smoke point. You see you see that smoke that's coming out? That's what you want. Now, we're going to put the salmon in there. Let it sail on that side for about three minutes. And I was having a little bit of trouble flipping it over. But I had to turn my camera off and then flip it. And I'm going to show you all. But right here, we're just giving that salmon some color because we're going to put it in the oven. All right. Boom. Now, right here is what I told you. I was having trouble flipping it over because I didn't want to mess it up. Like, I got to be too nice. I cannot mess up. So I ended up flipping it over and that's how it looked. That's how I want my salmon to look. I do not want no light skin salmon. I want my salmon to be crispy on that side. All right. Now, boom. Get some curry gold butter. This is the garlic and herb joint. Now you want to just base it to make sure your salmon does not be dry once it hits the oven. Boom. You're going to just base, base, base and get all of that garlic and herb butter on the top. And when I say the salmon was fire. I'm really, really not playing. I'm like, like, I don't know. Like, it's like, what else do I got to do to prove that I'm really too nice? Can somebody please tell me in the comments? Like, I don't know. Now we're going to cover it up, put it in the oven for about 10 minutes on 450 and boom. Oh my God. Base it one more time. Like it's, it's already done. And as you can see, like some of that cheese oozed out. Now we're going to plate it up with some brown rice and some asparagus. And I know you probably asked where my Bev is right here. Stop playing with me. You know, I got a Bev. Mm, mm, mm. The food was fire, right? I'm really, really too nice. It's like, it's just really sad at this point that at this point of development, I'm a goat. Like, I wonder how my mother and father feel that they birthed a goat. Like, I'm like I'm not human for real. I'm not. Video done. I got a bad right here. I'm almost finished with it. I just want to do like, like people always ask me these same questions all the time. So I'm about to just put it on YouTube and then like y'all can reference this video. I get this a lot. Where am I from? I'm from New York City. I live in the Bronx. People always ask me, who taught me how to cook? Well, my mother gave me the basics, and then I just, like, I guess, like, elevated. Like, my mother could still cook. Like, she could cook really, really good. I love her food. Always gonna love her food. It's to the point to where, like, I don't even feel comfortable even doing Thanksgiving and, like, leaving her out the kitchen on Thanksgiving. It's crazy. Um, people always ask me, what do I use to record? So, as of right now, I'm recording my YouTube video on my 13 Pro Max. I got this best, I mean, this ring light from Best Buy, and I use this mount right here. It's called Faux Pick. It's, it's on Amazon. So, like, cop one of these. Like, this is what I put on the um, countertop, so I get that high angle. Like, that's it. So, it's like investing yourself. If you feel like you want to spend all this money on a camera, you could really get the same quality, probably even better than me. Like, that's just my opinion. The quality on the iPhone, you don't really got to do too much. Um, And people always ask me, What's some advice to the, like the smaller pages that's trying to come up? I like from what I can say is make sure you be yourself. That's number one rule. Be yourself. Don't follow no trends. Don't try to pull no gimmicks in your voiceover or like do something that's like outlandish. That's not really you. Your personality will feed up to other people. Like that's why it's so natural for me for me to hear people like yo, I, I love your personality because that's really me in real life. If you know me in real life, you know I'm a clown. I don't take nothing serious and I love to have fun. That's why I'm never afraid to even show y'all my mistakes. Like, it's been times where I hated a video. I still put it out there because somebody might see it and, and, and might be inspired. Like, this this whole content creator thing is for me to inspire others. Everything comes after that. So, it's like inspiring people and then, like, everything that comes after it is here. Like, I want to inspire people to be better. If you feel like you want to come on Instagram and do videos, do your videos. Don't try to chase something. Like, when you start chasing, like, the clout, the following, stuff like that, it won't come. You got to let everything happen organically. It's going to take time. Some people, some people grow faster than other people. Like for me, for example, right? It's been five months on Instagram. I'm, I'm almost at a million, right? I'm grateful. But like that process for me might not be the process for you. It might take you six months, eight months, a year. But you're going to get there. You got to build the anticipation for you to hit that. So like right now, I'm filled with joy. I appreciate y'all 100% because like I say, without y'all, it's no me. So like I really can't sit here and say yeah I did it all alone because I did it like I like I put the work in and like my work is being noticed around the whole world but without y'all it would be no me because without y'all sharing my videos it wouldn't be no me sitting right here in front of this camera telling y'all yo I'm about to hit a million followers it's because of y'all sharing my stuff commenting 
whether good or bad, right? Like if you trolling at this time, it's, it's 2022 and you still on Instagram trolling, um, get a hobby. This not for you. This for the people who support me. Like, so you doing all that for no reason. You don't gotta be on my page. I'm not asking you to be on my page. I don't really care. I'm really, really too nice whether or not you like it or not. Like that's how I feel. And be confident in yourself. Grind for it. You got you like, and you gotta want it. This ain't built for nobody who don't want it. And I'll just say, like, I'll just leave it right there. This is not for nobody who don't want it. If you want it, you're gonna go hard every single day. People ask me how many times do I record a week? Probably maybe nine times out of ten, seven days. Seven days. I gotta get it done because if I don't get it done, nobody gonna do it for me. I don't have nobody to answer my emails. I don't have nobody to post for me. I don't have nobody to record me. This is me putting my phone on a tripod and speaking right into the camera or me holding my phone to do a voiceover. So just make sure that you doing what you got to do. Like, especially if you a small page, continue to grind. Don't chase the followers. The followers are going to come to you. I remember when I had 300 followers and I was like, damn, like I, I see people with like 500K, 300K, 10K even. And I was like, damn, like I'm going to get to that point. Like, I was like, you know what, Deron, you really got to put in the work to do it. And now look, like I'm reaping the benefits of it. Trust the process, man. Don't let, don't let nobody tell you nothing different. Because me personally, I am living proof that you put in that work, you're going to succeed a lot of other people who are just doing it for the money or doing it just to do it. Um, and you already know, and I'm really, really too nice. Nobody's ever going to see me. A lot of these boys on IG is what? Really, really my son. Like, I'm like I'm really not playing with that. Like, that's my slogan. Um, I'm going to say it every single time. I don't care who don't like it. That's just my slogan. I'm confident in myself to know, like, nobody's ever going to see me. And that's how I feel. That's just it. So I appreciate y'all for showing me love. You already know I'm really, really too nice. I hope you love this video. I was talking for five minutes. I didn't really mean to do that, but I just be rambling sometime. I hope I inspire you to do more. If I do, you already know. If I don't, then, hey, you'll get it next time. So I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Chef.